and we're back with, you guessed it, another Picture Perfect video about aeration and seeding, which is coming up super quickly. We're barely more than a month away from the most important service of the year for your fescue lawn. It's a big deal. So we wanna make sure that you guys are covered with everything you need to know whether or not you want to know about aeration and seeding for your fescue lawn in the fall. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of aeration and seeding. Now, this is a process that can vary between companies, between regions, and it just depends on what is both popular in your area and appropriate for your lawn. So take it with a grain of salt, but I'm gonna walk you through what Picture Perfect does from beginning to end so that if you're a client, you have a great idea of how your service is going to go. And if you are a homeowner or another professional, you can get some new ideas about how it might work for you to do it as well. Before we get started, I wanna make two points. First, Consistency is really valuable in pretty much anything, especially when it's a professional service. But for aeration seeding, it's a really beneficial thing because it keeps us organized and it keeps the lines of communication open. 99% of the time, there is a window of two or three months in which aeration seeding can appropriately take place. And some people might have an idea of, oh, I want my service to be done the third week of September. But year to year, like last year, it was way too hot for that to be ideal. So you wanna stay flexible, but you also want to be kept up to date. And that's why our method is really well-founded and has worked very well for us for years because we keep organized, we keep the lines of communication open with tons of updates, and everybody stays on the same page. Point number two, I need you to subscribe. I really want you guys to stay up to date on this content. If you're watching this video, either you're already subscribed, in which case you're, you're fine. But if you haven't already subscribed and you're watching this video, then clearly you're, you're interested in this topic. You're interested in aeration and seeding and learning about your lawn. So go ahead and stay up to date with all the videos about aeration and seeding we're gonna be doing. Stay up to date with everything else that we're putting out there and join the movement of people who are trying to make their lawns picture perfect. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about getting ready. So there's a lot more involved in getting ready for aeration and seeding than you might think there is. In general, there's a lot of work behind the scenes for any professional lawn care company, especially one that does turf management like we do, but aeration seeding requires a lot more coordination. And I just wanna give a huge shout out now to Lisa, who does all of our scheduling and billing and keeps us a well-oiled machine. She works dawn to dusk, seven days a week for months, making sure aeration and seeding is going to be running smoothly. We start providing aeration seeding services at the beginning of September, depending on how hot it still is, and we can go through October even into the very beginning of November, again, depending on the temperatures and the weather and everything else. But between signing up new clients for aeration and seeding and the weather, which is the greatest factor on any outdoor service schedule, we're not able to schedule all of that work in one sitting. We generally plan an aeration and seeding schedule about a week or two in advance. That gives us enough information about the weather and the areas that we're going to be in to make it efficient and do what it needs to do, but we're not having to go back constantly and recreate a schedule just because two days of rain is about to move through. There's a lot of planning involved in aeration and seeding on the homeowner side as well. We recommend that you cut your grass lower and some people like to bring in topsoil. And if you're getting core aeration instead of liquid aeration, you have to flag your sprinkler heads. We notify clients a week ahead of schedule as well as the day before the service is scheduled to give plenty of notice and make sure everything's going to be good to go. So if you're a picture perfect client, you are always welcome to call me or call our office to check on that schedule and see if we have any idea of when you might be getting your aeration and seating service. That being said, it's not going to be very often that we'll be able to tell you, oh, it's this date in the future if you haven't already received that week out call ahead because there's a low chance that we have anything planned more than a week in advance. 
The best communication that you can initiate with us in regard to scheduling is if you know that you're having any kind of tree work or landscaping work, irrigation work, if you're scheduling topsoil, anything major that is either going to conflict with or impact the success and quality of the aeration and seeding service that is in that window of September, October, or even November. We really really, I cannot stress it enough, we really appreciate any kind of notice that you can give us about that so that when we are planning that schedule, we know, okay, we have somebody in the Highlands who is getting five trees removed the second week of October. Let's try not to be in there that week. It helps us out. It makes things a lot easier for you because you don't get bumped to the end of the list if all of a sudden we have to reschedule you because we didn't know about your tree work. It's great. So please let us know if there's any potential for conflict at any point during the window of aeration seeding. Otherwise, we will notify you a week ahead of when we have you scheduled. Another benefit to hearing from us a week ahead as well as a day ahead is that it's plenty of opportunity for you to discuss with our office or even with me any questions that you still have about the service in terms of how to prepare the yard or whether or not topsoil would be appropriate or how to take care of the seed once it's put down. We can answer all of your questions in terms of that and it's a great idea to ask them now before in hindsight you wish you had done differently. And it's always great to go ahead and ask them so we can make sure that you're covered. It's the big day of your aeration and overseeding service and while you don't have to be home for us to do the work, you still should know what's going on. It's, it's your property and it's a big investment, it's a big service, so you want to know the step-by-step -step of what's being done and how it's being done. First, when our crew arrives at the property, they're going to check the lawn to make sure that everything is good to go in terms of sprinkler heads being marked if you're getting core aeration and no obstacles or gates that are blocked by cars, everything like that. They're also going to ring the doorbell and this is something that we do for all of our fertilizer related services we ring the doorbell knock on the door in case anybody's home so that a we don't surprise you and you don't know there's somebody in the backyard and we've all done it we've run through the kitchen naked we don't want that to happen but also so that if you are home and you have any questions the members of our team that are actually performing your service can discuss it with you and make sure that everything is going to be good to go once we're ready to get started there can be two different directions that your service could go in First, if we're playing it old school or if we're trying to newly establish a lawn, we're gonna pull that core aerator off the truck and do a double or triple pass to really maximize all those cores across all of the treated lawn areas. If it's a liquid aeration service, the same machine that we use to broadcast spread the seed actually can spray out that liquid aeration product at the same time. So you're gonna see us using that riding machine except for in small, wet, or tight areas that need a push spreader or another small piece of equipment. There's multiple things happening with an aeration seeding service. Outside of the differences between core aeration versus liquid aeration and the machines that are used for that, there's also the seed that's being put down on top of the aeration service. And for most of our properties, especially the program ones, we're doing an application of lime. Now, if you are on a corrective lime program that you discussed with Brandon at the beginning of this year, this is another window in which that's a likely application that you'll be receiving on top of that maintenance program. Program. And for some of our new clients that didn't get our August application, that round four of our fertilizer program, we may be building in a starter fertilizer treatment as well. So there's a good number of things that could be different in terms of actually what's being done on the property, but what really helps with that is at the end of the service, we always leave behind information for any application or treatment or service, but with this one, we've got brochure after brochure of exactly what was done. So you've got your aeration seeding information, you've got your lime information, even your corrective lime information, and we're giving you instructions typed up, printed out on how to take care of that seed for the next month or two. So once everything is done, we leave behind that information, we leave a sign in the yard, and we blow off the driveway so that any lime or seed is brought back into the turf instead of just sitting where it's not gonna look nice. This is a thorough, high quality service. Our crews are all trained and experienced in making sure that it is efficient and appropriate to establish a healthy population of turf. 
And because we're working so hard to make sure that your lawn is gonna have a great shot at having a successful aeration and seeding, we want you to have the information you'll need to make sure of that yourself as well. If there's anything you take away from this video, it should be this. The proper aftercare of your fescue seed is the make it or break it factor in terms of guaranteeing successful germination and turf longevity. That is why it is so important to know how to care for your baby grass because if it all dies on you two weeks in because you mow it too soon or you don't water it right, you just lost so much of an investment, not only financially, but in terms of that window of opportunity to have a good looking lawn for next year. That's why we set you up with as much information as possible through these YouTube videos, through our newsletter, emailed instructions, printed instructions, contact information for our team members, everything that you would need as a resource to be sure that you're gonna be mowing it right, watering it right, staying off it the right amount of time, fussing at your dog for digging two days after the seed went down, everything that's gonna be important for that. It's a big investment, it's a big deal, so we wanna make sure that you guys are covered. So that pretty much covers it. Once aeration and seeding is done, we still do a couple more applications of fertilizer to really boost the amount of nutrient access that that baby grass has so that it just chews through everything we throw at it and grows nice and thick and healthy over the winter. Coming up over the next several weeks, I'm going to break down aeration seeding in more detail. We're gonna have a whole video on proper aftercare, as well as how to prepare the yard for aeration seeding. I'm gonna give you guys all the information that I can so that by the time we get to your aeration seeding service, you know it like the back of your hand. Like I said before, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, do what you gotta do. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn all that that the kids these days are on to stay up to date on any kind of information that we're able to bring you. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope that you have a picture perfect day.